to almost nine o'clock at night central time on October 2nd. And we are imaging with the Sea Star 50 in real time. This is a live picture of the Andromeda Galaxy on my iPad M4. And I'm filming it on my Samsung. Let me do it, look, turn the lights on and see what's going on. So out there, uh, you can't really tell, but out there is my, uh, my telescope. I'm on the porch of my house. Now let me go get, turn the porch lights on so you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay. These are my dog sleeps when he's out here with me. Out there's the telescope, and down here is the uh, iPad. Now, what's going on is the Sea Star has its own Wi-Fi network, the Sea Star S50, and it is uh, right now broadcasting that Wi-Fi about 100 feet any direction. And so, I have the Sea Star app on this iPad right here, and on it. Once you have it installed and it's connected to that Wi-Fi, all you have to do is tell it to go to the Andromeda Galaxy in this case, or any of the five or 6,000 or more objects you, you can see very easily. So it's a really clear night here in, uh, we're along I-70 in the state of Illinois. And this is M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. There's a, the mark there, you can kind of see it there. So M31, Andromeda Galaxy, that is 23 million light years away from Earth. So what that means is the light coming from this galaxy left 23 million years ago, came all the way to the Earth, to the back of the, of the uh, sensor, the computer, uh, the camera sensor in the Sea Star, and it captured it and it's transmitting it to, to my iPad here. Now, if you look up in the sky, the Andromeda galaxy doesn't look anything like this. It doesn't look anything like this. It's, it'll be a smudge. The size of this in the sky is about the size of a full moon. And if you got good eyesight, you can see it. It's just real smudgy. You can't see any of this detail. This is a fantastic picture of it. I've never achieved a picture this good ever on uh, a telescope. And I've been to, in astronomy. God, I've been in astronomy for, since 1981, and this is a fantastic picture of M31. Again, live picture. Live picture of it. I've never had a picture this good, and this is the C Star S50 doing this. What it does is, again, you can't see this, obviously, in the sky like this. What it does is the C Star takes 10-second images at a time. So it's counting it down, completed another one. It's going to start another one in a second. For every 10 seconds, it takes a picture and it stacks one picture exactly on top of the other. And what you do when you do that is it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And that's what you're seeing right now. I mean, that's a fan. My gosh, that's one of the best pictures I've ever seen um, amateur astronomy-wise here of Andromeda. You can see the outer bands there. Just look at that. It's a fantastic picture. That is right now. That's showing I've got 62% battery left on the Sea Star. It's taken five minutes and 50 seconds of pictures, 10 second exposure. So that means, excuse me, that would be six, it'd be 30, 35 pictures of Andromeda right there. That is an unbelievable picture of it. Now, I wish I should have brought my flashlight. Maybe I can grab it and go show you what the Sea Star looks like outside. I'm on my porch on my house in central Illinois, right along I 70, so near St. Louis, actually. Let me see if I can get a flashlight. I'll take you out and show you the telescope out there. So let's go out here. Hey, go Cubs! We're going to go out here. I'm going to show you the telescope's out there. You can't see my flashlight very well. We're walking right towards it. The house is back there. That's where I'm sitting with my iPad. And about 50 feet out here, or 60 feet, is this telescope, the Sea Star, the C -Star uh, S50. So here it is. It is, you can see the lens right there. It is pointed up to the sky up there above my house to the north a little bit. And it, it's getting a lot of dew. I should turn the dew, uh, there's a dew zapper on it so the lens doesn't get fogged over. Let's see if it's doing that right now. Yeah, it's going to start getting dew on it. I'm going to fix that. But anyway, I'm up there at the house and it's connected. This thing puts off a Wi Fi signal and it's connected to my iPad. You could do it with an iPhone or your Android, or any any device that's uh, iPhone, or iOS, or Android device, you can connect and do this. All you need is a C-Star to do this. And this is not an expensive telescope. I think I got this one for $400. And 
I tell people all the time, if you want to get your kids interested in astronomy or any STEM career, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, this is a fantastic cheap way to get them interested in it. Let me come up and back and show you what it looks like again. It's still stacking pictures this whole time. It'll do it as long as I want it to. And the more pictures it stacks, go Cubs! The more pictures it stacks, the better the picture is going to get. So I'm back up on my porch. That's about a 55 foot walk. You can't really see it out there now, but it's out there. So here's back to the iPad and it's just stacking more and more pictures. Now it's at seven minutes and 50 seconds. So seven times six is 42 and then another five. So it'd be 47 pictures stacked on top of each other. This is another galaxy and I'm embarrassed. I do not remember which one that is. But it's within in the picture, within the bounds of the picture of Andromeda. It's just an amazing, amazing thing. I mean, just think how cool this is for the price point and just for the um, smartphone that you have or get an iPad like you can do this on your smartphone too. But for the price of this, think about your kids or if you're older and you have grandkids like I do, to have them come out. They could set the scope up easily themselves. It's not really hard to do. You just you take that scope that I just showed you, you balance it, and you got to uh, calibrate the compass. Not hard to do. I mean, kids on video games would just think it's really easy to do. And then all you have to do is pull up the app and tell it you want to what you want it to go look at, and it slews right to this. This is just I'm just blown away at this picture right now of it. Um, I've uh, as I may have mentioned earlier, I've been into astronomy since I was, gosh, ten years old, and I'm 58 now. So I've been, I've been at it a long time. I've had a lot of telescopes in my career, in my life. And this sea star is just a game changer when it comes to getting kids, especially, um, interested in, in science for the price point. 400 bucks. 400 bucks to be able to see the universe like this. Great picture. Oh, my gosh. It's just, <laughs> it's just I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm such a geek nerd astronomer. This is just unbelievable to me that you can get this picture at home for 400 bucks. And this is just one of five or 10,000 things or more that you could see with a telescope like this. To give you an idea, I had uh, a, just even 10 years ago, a telescope to do what this is doing right here, just on my iPad live connected to that little $400 telescope, smart telescope, I'll call it. It would have cost you, gosh, to get a decent telescope, $1,500. $1, to get a decent one and then to get the camera and all the connections and to do all the photo editing you'd have to do to get this kind of picture that would have cost you oh my god to have a decent setup maybe twenty five hundred dollars three thousand dollars excuse me my husband's getting me but to take this picture think how proud your kids would be you know your grandkids and i don't work for c star i sound like i do maybe but, but i do not <laughs> i do not work for c star at all i uh i'm just an amateur astronomer and have been since, like I said, about 11 years old. And I've owned, I don't know how many telescopes in my life. Um, I had a big one back when, um, 1993, when Hale Bopp ran into Jupiter. I had a big reflector telescope. And I've had three or four others since then. I have other telescopes now today, still. But I'm telling you, there's nothing like this. To be able to get images like this that your kids or grandkids or yourself that you can share and enjoy <clears throat> and take pride that you actually did. I mean, this is unbelievable to me. Again, so this is the Andromeda Galaxy live on my iPad connected to the Seastar S50. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the light from there, from this galaxy, left 23 million years ago and hit, is hitting the Earth right now. So I can't stay. Let's try to zoom something else in. So that's a really good picture of Andromeda. There's enough... That's 60, 65 pictures of it. I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to go to something else here. So let me go back to the main screen. <clears throat> let's go back to stargazing. And let's look for, um, let's do, I'll, I'm going to show you Saturn. Let me see. Let's go to uh, planets. Back this way go to the solar system, and we're going to go to Saturn. 
Saturn is pretty high in the sky right now, so watch it. Watch what it's going to do here. Oh, it says I'm out of level now. Oh, darn it. it. Must have moved and moved on me here. Let me get that fixed, and I will be right back with you.